A group of cloistered nuns who have called Denver home for decades now say they need to move. Their monastical life of prayer and study and silence is challenged by a noisy neighborhood that's kind of developed around it over the years. Denver 7's Daniel Kreuter has their story. When we first introduced you to the Capuchin Poor Claire sisters back in 1995, they were hard at work making their popular Clarissa's cookies. It's how they make just enough money to support their simple way of life. Our charism is mainly focused in contemplation and prayer. Over the last 28 years, things haven't changed much inside the historic Our Lady of Light Monastery. On the outside, it's a different story. Quiet family homes are now bars and restaurants in the Highland neighborhood in Denver. Tall apartments surround the cloistered nuns once quiet prayer garden. They're building up and there's not no more privacy. A lot of new businesses, which is good on the one hand, but also became a little bit more disrupting. What impacts have you noticed over the years, Sunday mornings? Yeah, we've we changed our mass time because at 11 o'clock, you were, you know, it's brunch time for the restaurants and it was just really difficult for those of us who are elderly to find parking spaces close to the front doors. The nuns have decided to leave behind their long time home. They're going to build a new community out in Byers, 44 miles east. It is hard. It's really difficult. At the same time for us, well, it is a an opportunity to start all over in another place. The new convent would allow for peace and quiet, easier accessibility for elderly sisters, and a bigger kitchen for their cookies. I think it's going to be way better, you know, bigger stoves and ovens. We are uh, very happy with this, this, this location. I think will be the perfect uh, environment. But the move is bittersweet. It is really hard. Um, Part of, you know, our hearts are, are here. It's not fair that some people who has lived there for many years be forced to live, even if there are good plans and for, for progress. In Denver, I'm Danielle Kreuter, Denver 7. Well, the nuns still need to raise $2 million for their new convent. So if you would like to donate, we have a link in this story on denver7.com.